All right, yo, what's up, guys? We're here with episode nine, nine by now. Wow, we are uh, kind of marching through these. Uh, so yeah, we're here now, and we are against the Philadelphia Eagles this week. We have players ready to negotiate. We have ten of them to be uh, clear, and we have our short week discussion tab thing that we can get into. And uh, I was curious if you guys wanted me to go through the uh, whatever it's called, the the uh, draft class. And go ahead and look through all that and see uh, whatever's going on. We're going to try to bring back Isaac Yatum. Yatum. Ye Atum. I, I don't know how to say his name. Stu, this contract would work for me. And he will sign. And we are down to 20 or, or 2023 cap room space is down to $98 million, which is uh, still, I think, pretty good. It is Tay Davis, that middle linebacker number 19. That is huge. I'm actually going to go look at, uh, at how old he is because, I mean, I could have just seen it, but I just missed out. I just caught his name, Tay Davis. It's 26, number 19. I don't think he'll play a role. Um, so, yeah, we have so far, this is the lineup right here. Three normal dev receivers. Uh, Nico Collins coming off of an absolutely nuclear week. Pacheco, Ty Chandler, and Damian Pierce are here. Andy Janovich at uh, fullback did make the move for Quinn Miners. If you guys don't remember, I uh, got rid of our right tackle, AJ Can. And we still have Laramie Tackle on the left side. And defense, we're looking at Jalen Petrie here, who still hasn't revealed his dev trait. Just a couple games away, maybe. Uh, and then also Derek Stingley Jr., I'd bet, is also just a couple games away. Although he's playing third on the depth chart, we need him up there. And Desmond King on the other side, and Steven Nelson there. So yeah, this is uh, kind of what we're looking at here uh, as a team. I'll go to our specialist real quick and uh, show you guys that this is what we're dealing with. As our right end is Jonathan Grenard, our rushing right end. These are two... Defensive tackles that will be rushing the quarterback. Jerry Hughes coming off of the left end, which is uh, good. Want to make sure Pacheco is our returner on both sides. Right there. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the short week discussion, I think it was. And then we might use our staff points to make some upgrades uh, after the game. Obviously, we have a short week this week, so not much time to create an elaborate game plan with that being... The case, I want to stress how important it is, blah, 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 blah. Definitely with so little recovery time, a lot of guys are going to be less than 100%, which can lead to sloppy football and mental errors. Indeed. I'm just going to go through that. And with fewer turnovers. Oh, that's nice. Um, so, yeah, we brought back everything we need. We're going to go ahead and weekly strategy. And I did mess with... Um, I did mess with the sliders and the uh cpu defense should be insane so that'll be something to look out for uh we're gonna start training here there's no way us as a 75 overall should be even having a chance to win against the 85 overall uh oh 85 overall eagles and we are fatigued pretty heavily there as you saw and we're going to go ahead and upgrade our players and then hop into the game. Upgrade. We'll just upgrade John Mechie. Uh, let's see what he has to do here. Definitely going to do Playmaker, but I'm just going to look at his ratings real quick. Definitely uh, could use Playmaker. That's for sure. Uh, these upgrades are OP normally. Catch traffic, deep route, medium route, short route. So, yeah. I'd say that's a pretty good upgrade. 79 short route, 80 medium route, night or 75 deep route. Everything else looks just about fine. 75 release obviously isn't the best. Uh, auto upgrade Kyle Allen. Let's hop into the game. All right, we are in Thursday night prime time matchup right here. And uh, let's get this one going. Uh, let's go. Obviously, we've had some uh, tough matchups here in the past that we've been able to win, but I think this one should be uh, the hardest one of them all, and we're going to see Jalen Hurts come onto the field uh, as Quez Watkins exits. I'm assuming we'll see. J yeah, there he is. Jalen Hurts. 
So far, putting together a, a good season. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks fine. I uh, just don't want to see his running numbers because that might also be insane. But uh, something I also want to do is look at our captains and make sure those are all dialed in. And this is what I thought would happen. Jalen Petrie needs to get in there, maybe maybe make something happen. Two rookies combine on the tackle there. Jerry Hughes is there early, I think. Or was that? It was uh, Kruger Hill, I think. My mistake. We're going to be going ahead and cover the middle of the field right here with Christian Harris. If it is not a run, get out there, Christian. Um, I kind of went, I, I bit inside, which I got to stop doing. But Miles Sanders' speed, obviously going to be a problem this game. Everything on the ground for the Eagles is going to be a problem for us this game. And A.J. Brown will be lit up. A.J. Brown is the first target from Jalen Hurts this game. And uh, they get that completion. So, Also, another weapon to look out for is A.J. Brown. Uh, Miles Sanders will rush for two. So far, I mean, our defense is definitely bending a little bit, but um, so far we haven't broken, and it's third and one, and now we have a good chance to maybe stop something from happening. And going all the way around is Miles Sanders, and we're going to make it all the way there with Christian Kirksey, as the case is the same again here. We're going to go ahead and blitz. I'm going to stay back and cover uh, Kirksey unless they... Yeah, okay, never mind. Get off the block. Jason Kelsey holding us in that block right there. Boston Scott, a good run for three. Boston Scott still remains in the backfield. I'm going to try to blow that one up there with Christian Harris. Gets in the backfield after making his way around the blocks there. Christian Harris so far has looked great this season. And we're going to get Jalen Hurts on his butt there. After just a run after uh, five yards there. Um, this one's going to be hard to contain right here. This is going to be one to watch. Oh, we blew him up after the play. doesn't matter. Uh, AJ Brown, touchdown. Uh, great start there for the Philadelphia Eagles. As we're going to go ahead and try to uh, get past... This challenging defense. Uh, probably use those guys a lot. Damian Pierce and Isaiah Pacheco. They're going to have to contribute a bit here. We're going to have any chance at winning. We're going to just keep this one in. Go to the 25. Continue on with our day. We're going to see if we can do anything here in this uh, first quarter. Let's see. And it's intercepted, just a, an accurate bullet pass. So this one will be a pick six, too. Darius Slay, touchdown. <laughs> the QB accuracy tweak, obviously. Um, expect it to get better over time as he'll, uh, as Davis Mills will progress over time as Lane Johnson goes out good. I think he is a guard. I could be wrong. Um, just knock out one of their interior lineman whoever's kicking the ball has got a boot we're just going to take that one to the 25 and be done with it and we're running out of five wide again on accident i did not mean to click this play and we're gonna we're gonna see what we can make out of it though uh nothing nothing we can make out of that play um scrambled right into pressure it's not a good run play we're gonna go ahead and look at what we can do here with our offense good defense there i thought uh, tj edwards i think that is would go up with uh brevin jordan obviously didn't do that so we're gonna give mechie a chance there he had a good one uh there is a flag though roughing the passer Defense, we get bailed out Hassan Reddick uh, a little late on that hit and will cause a roughing the passer. Davis Mills, I had to give it to Damian Pierce out of the back. 
Man, we are pretty blanketed right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, nothing we're doing is really going to work right now. Obviously, we got to just try to find a rhythm and drive our way up this field. We're going to find uh, Nico Collins coming off of a massive week last week. That is our first pass completion in five attempts. Uh, it's not good. Put a little Pacheco here on a little out. We get him early. Just run up field. I'm good with four yards. Uh, anything helps right now. As we're going to try to give it off here to Isaiah Pacheco. And Pacheco is tackled down after five yards. Damian Pierce right here. We're just going to have to give it to him. Uh, the big body running back here. And he has stopped immediately. We're going to go for it. Do the same thing. Damian Pierce just up the inside. Uh, sneaks it on in. But that is a, a scary situation right there, I'll tell you. We're going to try to give Brevin Jordan a chance to make a play there. Kaiser White on the pass breakup. Man, we are pretty much just stopped in our tracks right now. We gotta get something going. Isaiah Pacheco outside has a great run there for a chunk of yards. Great to see. Uh, so far, that's the most momentum we've gained um, in this whole entire game. A lot of traction coming off of that. It's red, but can we get outside with Pacheco? Pacheco with another good play. Isaiah Pacheco right now. We're just back to him being our offense. That's how it was early in the series, and now Pacheco. Let's become our guy here. And Damian Pierce is going to try to bowl forward for a touchdown. Can't do so. Uh, scurries right up to the one there. And uh, Isaiah Pacheco, the showman who has put us into this position to be even close, gets us the touchdown. And we'll go ahead and start the second quarter here. Just inside uh, second and one now. Try to trip him up. Damn, Jalen Hurts is fast. Gets outside. He's averaging seven on the ground. Uh, so I wanted to contain the QB scramble, but obviously we're not doing such a good job of that. I'm going to play a high zone here with Christian Harris. We do have Christian Kirksey blitzing. Just play like... It has no effect there. Uh, Eric Murray on the tackle. AJ Brown. Just another reception. They are just marching on us right now. Hard to play defense against this team. And Rasheen, Rasheem or Rasheen? I think it's Rasheem Green. Great uh, block shed there. Make a manual tackle for loss. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, first stop in a while there from just about everyone. Uh, Christian Harris on the stop right there. Needs to play a little bit tighter coverage on the running back. Speaking of, we are on user and Christian Harris right now. And a great move by Miles Sanders. And his uh, shifty self will get him up to the 10-yard line. Going to just try to cover the middle here with. And it is a sack? Is that a sack right there? Jerry Hughes sack. Uh, Jerry Hughes has been putting up uh, secretly good numbers all year long. So we're going to try to keep them contained now. Uh, I don't know how possible that'll be. As I'm going to bite on this run. Blake Cashman. Jalen Petrie make this. Oh my god. Boston Scott is the GOAT. These uh, Philadelphia running backs are not messing around today. Uh, that is just like three broken tackles in a row. Miles Sanders was doing the same earlier. It's, it's looking rough. Alright, we are going to start the drive on our own 18. I did not mean to run that far into Kenyon Green. That could have been a good run for about, like, maybe six right there. Uh, oh, well. We're going to try to space out this defense right here. Speaking of, let's just quick quick hitter there to John Mechie. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Let's get this uh, offense going a little bit. Let's get warm. Let's get loose. Fletcher Cox from behind. We'll get Damian Pierce, who's been... Uh, doing absolutely nothing so far. 
Maybe look at uh, Pharaoh Brown here. Nothing is open. I'm just going to throw this one away. We'll have a third and eight to convert on. I do like this play a little bit right here. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Revan Jordan, just a secure catch. Get it down. It's good. That's what we like to see. We're going to try to hand it off here to Damian Pierce. It's going to be met in the backfield, but he's going to be carried forward for his biggest run of the game, I think. Uh, four yards. We're going to run the slants. Never mind. We're going to run it here with um, Isaiah Pacheco, who has seemed to be uh, the guy. John Mechie is uh, hurt now. Wide receiver depth, obviously going to mess with that a little bit. That's rough. We're going to fill up the set into the game a little bit more. He's going to... Where the fuck is that? Where the fuck is that throw, Davis? Where the fuck is that, dude? Like, you're telling me, right, you're going to tell me this throw is going to Philip Dorsett? It's number four right here? I got to turn up our QB accuracy, honestly, man. That's just, that's so freaking horrible. Um, that's just ridiculous. Trying to stuff the gap there with Christian Harris, but uh, Miles Sanders is let loose. Uh, Miles Sanders just chewing us up. Six rushes, fifty-three yards. We're gonna we're gonna substitute John Mechie. I can't um, risk a severe injury. He's our wide receiver one. Maybe trying to get a depth trade upgrade for him this this uh, season. Desmond King on a good tackle there, but still, I mean they're just cooking us right now. We are getting uh, shown the. Uh, the ways of the road right now. Christian Harris in the backfield. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be considered a tackle, but it is, and I'm fine with it. So, uh, good job by Christian Harris getting into the back, getting into that backfield there. We're gonna try to go ahead and make the tackle there, but it is not. It's Christian Kirksey on that third and six. We want to make a big stop here. Try to. Uh, it's a two-minute warning. Good. I didn't like that uh, defensive play call at all. We were, uh, we had a corner blitzing, and it was just not good. That nickel corner. Can't be blitzing all that, you know? And it is sacked. It's uh, Rasheem Green. Uh, he has a tackle for loss, and now he has a sack. And we're going to have to... Uh, oh, I probably should have called the timeout. It's fine. All right, the play call here is a screen, even though it looks like they have man coverage on the running back. Go ahead, still just give it out. Try to make something happen. Just keep going. Let's keep going. This hurry-up offense right here. Just look for someone open. Nico Collins might have been, like, butt naked. Oh. Britt's down now. Cool. All right. Don't catch that. All right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Just four verts. Four verts, just just go, just run, and it's gonna be picked off. What the? F I've got issues with this right now. They're gonna be just inside field goal range right here. Um, man, this has not gone how I wanted it to. That's for sure. Uh, lack of words from me. This one's gonna go right in, isn't it? 27 to 7 after the first half. Uh, we're going to keep Justin Brent in the game. I think Justin Justin is his first name. Could be wrong. We're going to go ahead and uh, return now. So that's cool. Um, I guess what we gotta got to emphasize here is the uh, impact that these sliders are playing as of now. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep them. This just isn't fun. But uh, I don't think this is supposed to be fun as we see John Mechie back into the game and he's going to get a target. John Mechie outside. Like to see that. Let's hurry it up. Uh, we're going to hit the misdirection here with Damian Pierce and it's going to be red all the way through. Hassan Reddick is going to carry Damian Pierce. They're going to say that is a first down. I can't say I agree, but hey, we'll call it. I hate that shit right there, too. That's going to be a loss of one. 
Uh, Davis Mills obviously not playing a game to remember. Um, he's going to try to get something going in the air with Emmanuel Sanders now up the field. He'll have a good, like, 17 or so. Let's keep this offense going. Just uh, make sure that we're snapping the ball. Back up the inside there. Damian Pierce with his best run on the game as he's injured. And it looks severe. It looks bad. Oh, man. So we're going to have Pacheco in the backfield now. He'll be taking over duties from here on out. And if he keeps getting laid out like that, I don't know how much, how much longer we can keep him back there. Oh, man. This is bad. And uh, Zay Pacheco there will get the, the first down. Yeah. Fucking consti constu con contu... Contu... Contusion, contusion, contusion. Man, I can't speak. We're going to go play action right here. Maybe look at Brevin Jordan. Maybe uh, Nico Collins on that whip route. Uh, No. Nico Collins out of bounds. Meant to set my feet, but for some reason he just kept drifting. Uh, Drifting left. That would be the direction. We're going to have John Mechie open and he'll get the first down good job reaching for it we're finding some momentum now i'm just gonna run it here with pacheco uh just get up field there six yards just keep going honestly um try to keep all the momentum we can uh just just going a little bit we're gonna we're gonna run it here da uh davis mills it's blocked behind Farrell brown who just can't see so old Ty Chandler into the backfield now. See what uh, he's capable of. He's obviously going to be playing a role as he's carried forward for 12 yards. Ty Chandler. Maybe he's the jump start we needed. Ty Chandler also in the backfield again. We're going to see what uh, he can do here. Ty Chandler outside. Just get forward. Bowling forward. He'll have the touchdown. Ty Chandler on the two carries he's gotten so far. He's shown what uh, he's capable of as uh, we'll have to maybe get Ty Chandler involved a little bit. All right, I kid you not, it's been two plays, and they are at the 36-yard line. This is rough, man. What we need is a turnover right now. More broken tackles from the Eagles running backs. We'll have a corner blitz here from is that Derek Stingley Jr., see what uh, he can do get him down Derek Singley jr. gets a sack uh, that corner blitz really uh, helped I'm gonna play the middle Christian Kirksey here like QB contained now just no way it works out for him I hate this stupid game bro <laughs> Jordan Maylot, I think it is, on the uh, recovery there. We had a fumble forced from Jalen Hurts. And Derek Singley Jr. sizing up and uh, tackling, I think that was Dallas Goddard. So, yeah, it was Dallas Goddard. Played a uh, little to no impact in this game. Derek Singley Jr. right now is uh, cooking. No, and he's just going to break a tackle and bowl forward. Lane Johnson hurts is hurt again. Man, can we do anything to this this uh this defense right here? Jalen Petrie, play better coverage. 35-14, uh, 1 minute, 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Let's see if we can make something happen. Damian Pierce is back in the game, and he'll get a carry right away. We're going to go... Right, but man, they shed immediately. Damian Pierce, good there for four. Uh, might be bringing a blitz here. One safety high. Uh, we have options. Let's get Brevin Jordan up the sidelines right there. Good improvisation there from Davis Mills getting outside. Davis Mills had an exceptional second half. Not a not anything that you like, but we'll accept it. We'll. Kind of embrace it, I guess. Damian Pierce, get outside. See if that was Ty Chandler. He has the speed to take that one to the house, and I'm not kidding. 
Uh, Harris goes down for the Philadelphia Eagles. But that was also Damian Pierce's biggest run of the game. Uh, Pacheco needs to just get up. Get up and go. Our running backs are trying to play an impact here. As we are trying to get them involved. Try to get them to run the ball a little bit. Just trying to get them loose, honestly. Uh, nothing open. Throw across that. And then just a great pass break up there from, I think that was TJ Edwards, who's been stellar this game. Um, this is going to be a tough play right here to to convert. Oh, no, it's not. It's not going to be a tough play to convert on. Reverend Jordan, reach for it. We're going to go for it. We have to. Sketchy play right here. We're going to get it, though. We're going to get it. First and 10. Um, before they call some bull bull call right here. And it is thrown to the left. Cross body inaccurate. Luckily inaccurate. Might have been picked there. I know we're just going hurry up. It's kind of cheesy, but uh, we'll take momentum where we, wherever we can at this point. Uh, Pacheco runs up the middle there. So their defense has been really bad this season. So uh, doesn't look so bad right now. I'm not going to lie. And it's just blown up that play. Um, look to rebound here. See what's available. See what's open. We'll give a run to Damian Pierce. And it was at Brandon Graham, who looks about 370 pounds. They need to fix that for sure. Um, sorry, Davis Mills is good for six there. Um, we've got to go for it here. And I trust Isaiah Pacheco to get the job done. Is he'll go into the end zone, actually. Isaiah Pacheco for his second on the ground. Uh, man, we are not clawing our way back. Obviously, this one's pretty long gone. Still two possession game with uh, six minutes left. But um, we found our footing, and if we didn't throw those interceptions, we might have had a chance at this one. That makes me feel a little bit better about the slider adjustments. And um, those three interceptions, I think, is what it comes down to is uh, awful. So we're going to see what we can do here in this final uh, little bit here. Uh, just a crushing loss after we've been winning and tying for the last while. So uh, obviously not what you want to see. As A.J. Brown has just a yet another target and another catch. And we are season. Wow, we have the ninth ranked scoring defense. That is absurd to me. I didn't think that we would have that. Um, A.J. Brown having a, a good day. Zach Pascal, uh, the receiver on that catch right there. Uh, Jalen Hurts has had a perfect game. His running backs have really done it all for him, though. Man, this is just such a hard game to stop right here. And lay him out. Lay him out, Steven. I thought Stingley had a good chance there. Jalen Hurts, 67 yards on the ground. And we're playing this three-man deep bullshit. Come on, guys. Why is this even a play in our play call? Such a poor play. Fumble. Man. Man. Jerry Hughes, his second sack. That one was a strip sack. Gets the ball on the ground. Um, second and 16, we have a chance to stop the Philadelphia Eagles here, especially with like an incompletion or a short run. Uh, yeah, give me that guy. Uh, the users in this game are just not good. So the Eagles are crushing us this game. That's really what it comes down to. As we'll have a fumble. And Christian Kirksey lays on it. Uh, Jalen Hurst just didn't expect uh, someone to be containing that after I was in a middle zone. Ended up uh, getting out and going, and yeah. Damian Pierce, I mean, it looks like daylight, right? But he's just so slow. Uh, just not a good look from him. Both of our running backs have had a uh, had a sufficient workload, to say the least. Get outside, Pacheco. Go out of bounds. Pacheco, good there. Davis Mills needs a little bit more confidence in his arm right now. 
Throwing three picks is not easy. Uh, it's not easily taken either. And that one will just be fourth pick. As, um... Man, that is just off. I mean, they played perfect defense. They know the play. It's hard to, like... It's hard to compete with the computer when they know your play. So, just, uh... Something. A great tackle for loss there from... Uh, Jonathan Grenard. So, love to see that. Just flashing his potential here. Got two seconds. To snap. Just snap the fucking ball, dude. We're going to be a run. This one not going to be easily contained as Miles Sanders just bowls forward and keeps going. They'll have a chance to make it 38-21. Which, uh, personally, would not be uh, very nice. But they will go ahead and do so. With a good field goal attempt. Alright, we're probably going to get something going here with the, the passing passing offense right now. Out to John Mechie. Let's keep going. Hurry up, hurry up. Play action. Nothing doing. John Mechie. He's had a, had a good game so far. I don't know if that's 100 yards for him quite, but got to be close, right? We'll be feeling pressure off the edge. Davis Mills might be able to run for some there. 30 or For five yards there. And they're going for the ball now. That's kind of scary me. Scares me. Nico Collins has been kind of a non-factor in this game after having a huge game. We're going to be able to throw this one away. I have intentional grounding turned off, I'm not going to lie. I mean, there's just no way I could play with it on. Um, throws like that and stuff would kill me. And sometimes it's called intentional grounding after it isn't intentional grounding. So, Reverend Jordan, just get over one guy. I don't care. If it's fourth and inches, I don't care. 95, Willie. Unless we'll have a small chance of converting on this one with how loaded that box looks. Damian Pierce will get inside. Where's my faith? Good uh, conversion there from Damian Pierce as we'll try to uh, target someone somewhere sometime. We're going to put Nico Collins. Nobody open. I'm not even going to try to try. Uh, I'm not even going to try to press uh, square, which is the only read there that got open a little late. Just a check down sort of deal to Pacheco, who will be slung forward. Keep going. Oh, Brevin Jordan was wide open. And Philip Dorsett can't keep both feet in bounds. That would have been a great pass. Oh, man. As John Mechie's pretty much just winded. Give it to my big receiver there. No, and that is time right there. Davis Mills with his worst game on the season. Uh, I don't even want to look, to the, this, look at the stat. I kind of do for the running backs but, and John Mechie. But, man, just a tough game to lose. Uh, obviously, we are not used to it. And uh, these slider changes are good. This is good for the series. Uh, good for the competition. Just all around, it's good. I don't mind it. Let's go ahead and look at our player stats here. Davis Mills with uh, the worst game so far. Damian Pierce and Isaiah Pacheco. Obviously, Pacheco with those two touchdowns, averaging just a little bit more per carry. Um, looked like the better running back. And receiving, this is also what made Pacheco the better running back. And that was Mechie's 63 yards. Wow. Revan Jordan had 52, went under the radar. But it was Isaiah Pacheco who kind of... Uh, facilitated our offense here today Emmanuel Sanders had 18 Nico Collins had 11 yards so yeah just gonna try to work on getting our receivers more involved uh and just just getting everyone more involved at this point our running backs were really good uh that's over 100 yards on like 25 carries combined so yeah uh we get 17 <laughs> we do not get dude that is ridiculous we get 17 from that Damian Pierce has an upgrade here. I kind of want him to just be a power back. I think that's like what we'll kind of just develop him as, is the uh, power back. 
and who knows what sort of role he'll play in the in the long run. We run zone too much for Stingley to be to have bad zone coverage, and um, still don't know his dev trait. So yeah, I think that'll pretty much do it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this. Obviously, four interceptions. That's enough turnovers to um, to match a Aaron Rodgers season. And I didn't think the short week would affect this, but clearly we didn't get the job done. Yeah, that's uh, clearly. And we'll go ahead and simulate to week 10. Uh, I mean, it'll be interesting. This next week will be. Uh, just got to figure out what we can do. And Andrew Booth has four interceptions. Good for him. Uh, 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 that's all I freaking say. All right. We'll end this episode now. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Constructive, cr constructive criticism is welcome. So if you didn't like something you saw in the video, uh, comment it down below. I'll try my best to approve upon that. And uh, make sure to watch the rest of the series if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.